there's a lot of scary characters in video games. Whether they're intentionally scary or unintentionally scary. I'm looking at you, Tingle, you weirdo. The video game world is full of horror icons and scary monsters. But sometimes there are monsters and creatures that are just so adorable. So naturally, here are my top 10 cutest horror characters in video games. Also, what exactly counts as a horror character? Well, it's any character, creature, or monster that is scary, or any kind of character that can be tied in with Halloween. Monsters! Yeah. The Booze from Super Mario Bros. Ghosts are a pretty scary concept. They're the souls of people who've died, but haven't been laid to rest. So, they continue to roam this earth without a physical body, usually haunting a location, or in some cases, a person. But not here. No, of course not. In the Mario universe, ghosts are very shy and wacky creatures. Instead of haunting you with normal ghost shenanigans, they just stick out their cute little tongues and tease you. And they're not all that tough, because simply looking in their general direction scares them and causes them to hide. Boos are very shy, and I can definitely relate to that. Being an overly shy person growing up, and heck, even to this day, I wish I could just disappear when I didn't want to see people. The boos are just cute. Simple as that. No matter how dead they are. Some of the animatronics in Five Nights at Freddy's. Some of the animatronics. Don't get me wrong, this entire series isn't in short supply of nightmare fuel creatures. Like in Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Holy crap, were some of these guys creepy. It, ugh. And of course, the entire backstory behind this entire franchise's universe is very dark. But still, there are some animatronics that are pretty adorable. Like in Five Nights 2, the toy characters. They're not scary, they're cute. Look at them. Honestly, take a look at them. I want to take one home. But then again, I am kind of a weird person. Even the original animatronics weren't that scary from the first game. Aesthetic-wise, of course. John C I like zombie movies. Or, scratch that. I like good zombie movies. Movies like Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Shaun of the Dead, Planet Terror, and so forth. Zombies are pretty scary, with their decaying bodies and craving for human flesh and brains. I'll be honest, I'm afraid of zombies. But then, out comes a fun little mobile game called Plants vs. Zombies. It was really fun, and strangely addicting. The objective was simple, place your plants and kill zombies. And the zombies themselves were just so... well... Cute! They moved really slow and awkward-like. They wore funny attire, and always had that expression on their face that said, Duh. For once, zombies weren't scary. They were the most adorable idiots out there. Oh hey, look! Another zombie game! Left 4 Dead! This series has a ton of scary monsters, like the roided up tank, the disgusting spitter, and my personal favorite, the charger. But there is one zombie in particular that I personally found to be pretty adorable. The witch. Yeah, the witch. She's obviously very threatening and scary when she wants to be, easily taking you down with one swipe. And that scream of hers is very unsettling. But she's only like that if you confront her. If you leave her alone, she doesn't attack you. She minds her own business and continues to cry. You kind of feel bad for her. You just want to go up and give her a hug. But of course, wanting to do that has consequences. League of Legends definitely is not a game for me, but it does have some pretty cool characters, and the one that's making this particular list is Amumu the Sad Mummy. Amumu is a mummy, 
obviously, who wanders this world, trying to discover his true identity. He rose from an ancient tomb covered in wrappings, with no knowledge of his past, consumed with an uncontrollable… sadness. And when you hear his voice, you're immediately going to fall in love. Hey, come back. Let's find some friends. Come play with me. It's just so innocent and pure, only wanting to find himself, friends, and happiness. Spooky from Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Spooky's House of Jump Scares is one of my personal favorite horror games to ever be released. Mainly because I don't play many horror games. You start out in this home, being greeted by this seemingly friendly ghost, Spooky. Look at her. She looks friendly enough and is willing to help. Oh. Or maybe not. As it turns out, Spooky isn't as innocent as we're led to believe. She traps us in this maze-like home, but as we get deeper into this house, things start to get a little… creepy, with Spooky keeping her eye on us every step of the way. But that's okay, look how adorable she is, even if a little creepy. Sir Daniel, a skeleton from the game Medieval. That's all. Heisen Co. from the Darkstalker series. Now you might take one look at Heisen Co. and think to yourself, how is this a horror character? Well, believe it or not, she's actually a vampire. I am Dracula. Well, to be exact, she's more of a Chinese shape-shifting vampire. If that isn't the coolest thing ever, then I don't know what is. Now, Heisenko isn't exactly cute in the traditional OMG so kawaii sort of way. She's very tough and can easily beat up anyone who gets in her way. But she is cute in the sense that she's the only vampire in a video game who isn't terribly hideous or obviously cliched. There's not many vampires in video games, and I love vampires. I mean, Heisenko sometimes does that cute little confident smirk like many anime characters do. And that's pretty cute. So, there you have it. She qualifies to be on the list. Don't judge me. There's a nice handful of Pokemon that are horror-themed. They're actually meant to be pretty dark and scary. So I thought the best way to pick one for this list would be to read the Pokedex entries for each spooky Pokemon and pick the darkest one. And after reading dozens upon dozens of entries, I personally decided to go with Haunter. In total darkness, when nothing is visible, it lurks, silently haunting its next victim. Its tongue is made of gas. If licked, its victim starts shaking constantly until death eventually comes. It hides in the dark, planning to take the life of the next living thing that wanders close by. Whoa, Haunter doesn't mess around. Or does he? Despite Haunter's predatory nature, he instead spends most of his time pranking and entertaining people. He also just looks really goofy. Like, you know he's out there causing innocent mischief. I love it. So far, this list has had vampires, ghosts, skeletons, zombies, mummies, and even toys. So, what else is left? Well, what about the werewolf? Or more specifically, the Were-Hog. Well, it starts with Sonic and Eggman battling each other, nothing out of the blue yet, when all of a sudden, Sonic gets caught, and with the power of... science, Eggman transforms him into a Were-Hog. Half Hedgehog, half Werewolf. What? And why? What did Eggman accomplish by creating an even more powerful Sonic? Well... The cutest monster in any video game ever! The Werehog is just Sonic the Hedgehog in a werewolf's body. Sega tried to make him very intimidating and scary, but it all just comes off as adorable. That doesn't have to be a bad thing, though. Werewolf Sonic is awesome! He's different, and of course, in my opinion, the cutest horror video game character of all time.